Okay, traders. Today we're going to be talking about some exchange tokens, right? BNB, FTT, OKB, and Huobi token. So, guys, let's simply jump onto the charts. You know the drill. Go ahead for that like, hit that subscribe, and happy holy to everyone, guys. Let's enjoy this festival of colors with some exchange tokens. Now, the first chart I have for you guys is the Exchange Perpetual Index. Now, this index consists of all the major exchange tokens, right? So, this is pretty much your trend decider, trend definer, trend bearer as to where the exchange tokens collectively are going to go and going to do in the markets in general, guys. So, this is your index for all the exchange tokens now if this is bullish if this is generally bullish this means that exchange tokens they do have strength in their price action right and most of the exchanges are currently innovating so many different instruments they're incentivizing hodlers like paying uh, hodlers interest on the savings accounts i mean crazy 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 as things happening in exchanges so what does that mean that means that the price action is certainly supposed to appreciate for all these exchange tokens right so this is going to be your key index guys this is your trend definer right so what do you see right here the three day time frame is extremely bullish you had a bull cross well you never had a bear cross you are constantly riding this bull cross right here on the exchange perpetual index guys this per this particular index is listed on ftx if you are sick of trading uh, let's just say you are sick of trading only BNB or like only FTT or like guys you can simply jump ahead and trade the entire index itself this is going to be a better <laughs> trade to be honest with you because this is just the basket of everything which is happening all at once right so guys this has been in a bull trend ever since this COVID dump right here you never barely crossed on the 21 simple and the 55 simple moving average and you're constantly grinding your way towards the upside ever since this accumulation range breakout at $1,400 so guys this is this is a simple trend <laughs> to the upside guys the 12 hour time frame on this one would also I believe be extremely bullish now this is not extremely bullish this is certainly consolidating on the sides of these levels right here if I try to demarcate this level this is your key important zones of it uh, zone of interest right if you break below this price point on exchange perpetual index this would mean that we are going to be having some kind of interim uh, okay, sorry interim turbulence in the exchange tokens prices right so that means that you got to be careful about this index as well guys i do believe that this index has a lot of power this index is going to tell you so many things about the price action coming for bnb for okb for std if you're sick of trading that just just take a look at this it will help you with a better picture in your brains right so guys the 4 hour time frame for this one is also okay like with most of the market with btc also grinding above the 4 hour 200 simple guys btc is below a particular trend line if it breaks above the trend line market is going to go green again until it stays below that it's certainly the accumulation guys and just accumulate right it's going to leave bitcoin is going to leave the accumulation ranges pretty soon and it's going to go again <laughs> towards the upside and most of you will feel left out so guys just pay attention to the market there is a lot of money flooded into the market recently with all those stimulus checks hanging around hanging around just like that most of the governments also putting their pension funds index funds into bitcoin guys madness this is just crazy guys i mean so much so much capital is just flowing into btc all right that's going to be that that ramble is for bitcoins video right now we are just going to be dealing with exchange tokens right here so guys this is the grind that you want to be looking at and you want to be paying a lot of attention towards if you're breaking above this grind most of the exchange tokens are going to be bullish right so the first and the foremost we have bnb the mother flecker of all the exchange tokens guys certainly extremely aggressively sloped towards the upside and ever since this golden cross right here around the 16 dollar levels on three day time frame there has been absolute zero zero signs of returns right here guys you could argue about the fact that this is looking like a com complex form of distribution pattern up top which is happening about this entire particular range right here if i draw a rectangle right here this this is your range of potential distribution or a potential reaccumulation now guys there are a lot of ways to find out whether this range is getting accumulated or getting distributed i'm going to be talking about a lot of data coming from into the block um, uh, coin market flow and lot of derivatives data as well which suggests that this is more of a reaccumulation guys no matter how it sounds this is more of a reaccumulation bnb price action hovering above the 21 simple right here and with all the data everywhere just just pointing out towards one single fact that most of the cryptocurrency market is in a simple reaccumulation so this particular range is a reaccumulation range don't be extremely afraid until you until you're losing the 200 levels on bnb guys this is this is as simple as it can get if i just squeeze this triangle 
<laughs> rectangle out down to the 200 um, dollar levels is perfectly aligned with the 3 to 21 simple moving average right here so even if it's coming back right here it's probably going to get picked up bnb price action will get picked up right here but the previous three-day candle that closed yesterday was a good sign was a narrative of a better picture coming in for the next three-day candle or probably the next week as well this week right this week we're talking about this week now the caretaker rsi right here is suggesting that we are headed we could be rising if the candle constantly closes above 238 right so watch for this three day time frame closure above 238 right if we do start closing this three day candle below 230 240 dollar levels that could suggest that we are looking at a potential drop of prices to the three day 21 moving average which is currently at 205 dollars right so watch for this three day candle it closes in the next two day 18 hours as the preceding candle just just recently closed and it did close above a good particular level guys this one closed at 268 suggesting that this range is certainly a accumulation range and if you can simply go ahead and draw these lines you're completely formulating a triangle a squeeze a squeezy squeezy right here right so guys if you jump onto the daily time frame this squeeze will be a, a better looking squeeze to be honest with you the 21 simple moving average collecting the price back again uh, in, in these points now guys this is getting accumulated every single time you get back below the two, uh, 21 simple you can talk about this price action behavior just before we left this accumulation range here as well but not particularly i mean look these are particular reps and flows of the market anything can happen right here but generally when bnb wants to leave the accumulation range it is generally going to have a little throwback below the 21 simple moving average on the daily time frame then it could think about going to the upside now would the history repeat itself again guys could be could not be watch for this one to hold i guess the accumulation below the 21 simple has taken place anybody had to buy bnb around the 222 dollar levels has picked it uh, has picked up right and if you survive this dump if you survive this downside price action most likely you're going to be good manage your risk below the 200 dollar price points on bnb you are going to be absolutely fine for the coming days as the bsc ecosystem is actually actually taking a lot of interest guys BSC ecosystem is just sucking away the dominance from Ethereum ecosystem, just to be honest with you. Ethereum's ecosystem, there is just no fucking solution to the fees. Guys, look, a lot of development has been taking place, but it's just like, you know, a lot of people are going to be questioning as to until when are we going to be waiting for that upgrade to take place. I mean, look, it's a game of patience as well. But as you know, most of the market participants in cryptocurrencies are just impatient mother flackers i mean look you and i we are also impatient mother flackers so we can't really do much about it we can't really do much about it and ethereum is very far off from the eth to update which until that point would mean that bsc ecosystem would suck away a lot of dominance guys even the neo ecosystem would suck away a lot of dominance in the coming days with neo v3 potentially coming before ethereum 2.0 which is a pretty obvious fact guys it looks to me like even the neo DeFi ecosystem is going to pull away a lot of dominance from ethereum so guys ethereum dominance is going to keep on shrinking in the short to mid time frames right this is what is going to lead the bnb price action to the upside all right this squeeze is extremely clear now wait look i can i can draw the squeeze right here but this is not convincing yet this breakout is not convincing this just the price action you should have had a follow through on this daily candle as well but you did not right so you can simply extend it like that or maybe what you can do is you can just negate this piece of price action right here and you can formulate some squeeze right here something like that now this would be looking like this this looks like a more orderly fashion squeeze right here and as far as you're maintaining your lows which are higher than your preceding lows guys you are getting bought against this support trend line right here you you're absolutely fine so do not get shaken out in the extreme small time frames guys if you are getting shaken out managing your bnb exposure in the market that means you are simply over leveraged over leveraged right guys you do not want to get wrecked before this one moves to thousand dollars so it's a bad idea trading derivatives and futures on bnb let's be honest right here all right guys bnb against btc let's see what this one is doing as well just for that matter this is looking like a reaccumulation back again beautiful form of reaccumulation right here guys this really wants to test this all-time high back again at 600 000 satoshis which could be aligning perfectly with the all-time highs on bnb usd price action as well around 400 usd right so guys this price point move from these areas would be approximately 32 percent move to the upside against the btc pair now if btc also breaks the range towards the upside and bnb btc also goes towards the upside you're going to be looking at at least 60 to 70 percent returns on bnb usd in the coming week right so guys watch for these both pairs as they're going to be suggesting of a lot of factors for the bnb price action coming in at this week pay attention 
pay attention hocus focus technical analysis you got to draw some lines in your chart for this week because this week is very very important right guys next candidate on our next candidate on our screen is who who obi token the ht token now this exchange also is extremely extremely ahead in terms of innovation and gaining the market capital guys lot of trading equity lot of equ- lot of liquidity flowing into who uh, obi exchange as well so this is another exchange that you got to be keeping your eye on and this token as well as this also has potential lot of returns potentially who obi can also start something from the defi on their who obi chain as something like that guys let me know down in the comments if who obi token has uh, migrated into its own native chain or it is still or is it still the same smart contract i hope it's not I'm not done my diligence, but we're here to talk about the charts right here. So, guys, ever since we broke above this accumulation range, which spanned over like started at August 2019, two years long accumulation range right here, guys broken out. <laughs> Wait, is it is it actually two years? Yeah, yeah. Well, for that matter, it's two years long accumulation range. You can extend this one all the way towards this price point right here as well. So, guys, as soon as you left this range, there there was no. Guys, look, these are the points. Like these these are the areas. These are the price action that you're hunting for, that you're sniping down for. As if you leave above, guys, this is pretty much clear. Look, you left this range. This was your point of no return. point of no return right you're accumulating below this trend line for 3 to 4 years leaving going above this one in a bullish engulfing manner would mean that this is a point of no return right in front of your eyes probably prices prices are never going to come here until there is some catastrophic event happening in the cryptocurrency sphere like if, if if something just gets massively fucked up in in this entire crypto market then we can think about ht coming back to $5 regions but this is a point of no return as far as the price action goes right now right all right okay so this could be grinding against the support trend line right here but this is not confirmed yet i mean look you can draw this fucking trend line in a thousand million ways you have to formulate a base right here with the 21 simple moving average now this was an attempt to break the 21 simple moving average right here but this candle simply bullishly engulfed above the previous bearish candle right here which means that you are looking at some buying activity coming in at you hobi token guys now this is an opportunity right here this area is an opportunity so ht will get accumulated between 12.125 to 13 dollar regions right this is this is a range of accumulation so you see the prices coming into this range this 5% range right here you can the first and the foremost opinion that you have to have in your brains is that it's probably going to be a buy it's probably going to be an opportunity guys the history the fucking history just look at this piece of price action right here you squeezing you fucking short squeezing man you just look at this piece of price action i mean look people in stock markets are dying to see these kind of price action right but you leave the accumulation range and you go up about 400% massive piece of price action right here so your first and foremost assumption if the prices do come back down here is going to be an opportunity be optimistic guys be optimistic right so this is the point of entry if you're going to be long on um, hob token guys not a financial advice just like always i don't want to get into any trouble and if you lose money watching these videos i am not going to be responsible guys i'm going to be staying here every single day i'm going to be grinding i'm going to be wake- making videos i'm going to be updating all of you just to make you guys better traders as well guys if you are paying attention to the markets every single day you are traders just remember that if you are a hodler you are least you're going to be least concerned about any price action you're going to be least guys hodlers are like that look i am a trader my brother is an hodler so my brother he does not give a fuck about ethereum price action and guys that bastard was was accumulating ethereum since fucking 100 dollars right he was accumulating ether again and he was least bothered about the price action whatever whatsoever he was just least concerned about it he picked a huge chunk of ethereum back there now well he started selling off and he's getting into other things because that was he find into other things guys look if you're a hodler you're least bothered about the day to day price action and the charts but if you're a trader like me if you want to be actively participating in these markets guys you should fucking know what is happening you should not sit clueless watch your equity go down the floor and you being kicked out of the market every single week guys no it's not done this is not the way look this is a free market this is a free world as well but that does not mean that you keep on losing your capital right it's just it's just being wrecked trust me trust me it's called being wrecked and it's better that you speak to yourself about it that you're losing money every single day in the market so better educate yourself hit that subscribe go for that like because this channel is always going to be coming out with some quality information it's not going to be a moon boy or doom boy shit guys it's 
I'm going to be sitting here telling you about your risk management areas. I'm not going to be telling you to buy this shit and it's going to move. No, no, this is not my style right here. I want you to be a better and a sophisticated trader. So this is my aim for this community as well. All right. This piece of price action on three days, certainly bullish. So your bias here is going to be a buy. <laughs> right for the first go if it comes down here the 12 hour time frame let's see if anything is happening right here uh, do we have any hidden bullish divergence between this point and this point right here mm, no no none whatsoever uh, this on the 12 hour time frame now the picture certainly starts getting a little 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 sideways to consolidation kind of mood but you could argue that you've broken above this grind line right here if you do break this down you're going to be retesting this one but if you take this level out you're going to be testing the ten dollar levels on ht which could be aligning with this price point right here by this time by the time the price action slips here most likely this 200 simple moving average would be aligning this liquid zone right here right and then you could get picked up around your 10.75 levels right so 10.75 yet another key risk management zone now bitcoin breaking below 55k bitcoin breaking below 50k would mean that ht would also break below these price points and guys it's not going to be a surprise if it breaks down guys pick this up for the long haul it's going to be probably it, this one is probably going to be a better choice as well as exchanges are certainly being extremely innovative these days guys let's just jump onto the extreme small time frames as well just for that matter guys uh, the four hour time frame here you're going to be paying attention if you're trading this one intraday you watch for this cross happening guys you can simply shoot up um, another like 10 percent and test the 200 simple moving as this is how you pinpoint your intraday trades and fucking wait patiently rather than just entering the market and just watching your fucking equity go down right not not a not a good style of trading anyways so watch for this cross to take place if this happens most likely you'll come and test the 200 simple moving average at 14.8 dollar levels right i hope you're clear with the levels on ht now we jump onto the next candidate right here okay be yet another bullish looking piece of price action right here guys crazy this is this is just this one this one simply goes up against us dollar uh, ever since the covid bottom was this the covid bottom right here uh mm, March 20 yeah this was the COVID bottom right here so, th so since the COVID bottom you're up 600% not really outperforming most of the assets right here but still doing a 600% means this one calls out for some attention in terms of some technical uh, um, uh, technical aspects as well right now it looks to me like it did test this macro resistance line right here so guys there is no FOMO on OKB until you are going to be trading above the $25 levels it's as simple as it can get right below those price points it's most likely going to be an accumulation and you could be looking at some piece of price action which is going to get reaccumulated with the 55 simple moving average catching up with the price action right here something like that and then it'll test these price points right here at $40 levels so your midterm targets for OKB are going to be somewhere around $40 levels and guys this is just a simple fucking line that I drew look the price could do that the price could do this it could be simple up and down ebb and flow in the markets but you have to be paying attention towards most of your risk management areas and for OKB as well this one your risk management area stays somewhere around the 21 simple on 3 day time frame now this was yet another attempt to close your price action below the 21 simple on 3 day time frame but you did not you did not do that although the reaction was not that aggressive not that bullish so guys you see the ladder you're going down the ladder the most bullish is BNB then you got HD now you got OKB the least bullish amongst all these three guys the most bullish right now to be honest is FTT the FTX token I'm going to be getting onto that one pretty soon after this analysis right here so guys the, your immediate reaction if the price comes back right here is going to be buy it's going to be buy signal for the first go right and let's check out the momentum oscillators as well guys you're simply hovering below the 60 on the three-day rsi now that would mean it's going to get into a lot of job guys a lot of job guys look if history has to repeat itself look what happens if you stay below the 60 you you fucking chop for a very long time right you're not above 60 you're going to be chopping right you go above 60 you show some hope for some time but then you fuck back off right here guys most of the significant moves happening are happening above the 60 you move above 60 you sustain over there on rsi you're going to be having these exponential moves to the upside right this one as well right so this one as well and this one as well so wait for this one guys most likely it'll get accumulated with the 55 simple moving average on three-day time frame and as soon as you get reaccumulated with this moving average probably the rsi will grind against the 60 and then it'll get out of this bear control to some choppy zone and then it'll probably go towards the higher um, the higher points most likely above 60 and stay above there reside above there then you can talk about some higher price action targets towards 40 if you're invested in this long term probably this one is going to do good as well because okb okay 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 ex is another exchange with highest amount one of the highest amount of liquidities liquidities and one of the biggest 
derivatives markets as well on OKB. Guys, if you're really interested in trading derivatives, you can head on to OK, OKEX. OKEX has a lot of derivatives options. They have weekly contracts as well. They have daily contracts as well. A lot of things happening in the derivative market, right? So guys, let's jump on the 12 hour time frame just for that matter. And let's just see what's happening right here as well. As the small time frames are not really helpful, I see in these charts like this is also not helpful, guys. You're, 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 you're well, you did reject the bearish control zone below the 40. Look right here. This is the bearish control zone. This is the bullish control zone, right? So if you stay above the bullish control zone, you are probably going to be trending towards the upside with a lot of, lot of, lot of uh, volatility, to be honest with you, because we are in price discovery ranges, right? But if you do trend below the 40, it's going to be in a bearish control mode and the price action is going to be extremely choppy. You go ahead and you long these things without any conviction, without any due diligence, you're, gonna, you, you're probably going to get washed out. You're going to, you'll be fucked, guys. You'll be fucked and you'll be scratching your head like sitting like this. Oh, why is the price not fucking going up? Because look, the RSI is at bearish control zones. It's as simple as that all right just be very very precise of your facts guys facts look most of the people trading these markets are really emotionally driven if you are emotionally driven guys get the fuck out of this market i'm being very honest once again <laughs> if you're emotionally driven this market is not for you you have to be factually driven you have to see the facts in front of you and then you have to react according to the market look if you're going to be having the attitude of my way or the highway you will get wrecked guys these are the things they're just coming out of my personal experiences you learn from others mistake guys you learn from other mistakes to have a propulsion in your life right anyways anyways that's a lot of ramble um so this one is this one is actually grinding against this good looking trend line right here so guys watch for this one as well this price piece of price action so any 12 hour closure above this high which is being put right here um could mean that you're resolving this grand line to the upside and your upside targets would be these price points somewhere around 19 or 2 dollar levels right this could be yet another good trade in the entire time frames if you take this one for a 40 percent move to the upside after the confirmation guys open and closure open and closure above this grand line right here would mean that the price are going to go up guys the rsi is looking constructive um look this is caretaker rsi this is cmo you can go ahead this is available for free and most of the data will be right here for you really breaks down really uh, sorts the data out and gives the facts to you rather than the noise coming from the rsi guys this is why i sort my rsi out as well you are staying between the 30 and the 40 zones most likely it's going to be a chop you're going above 60 is going to be a good bullish indicator a good momentum move to the upside you're going below 40 is going to be a good bearish indicator as well so you can take bearish trades as well guys you can go ahead and hit that red button as well in these trades right look you can make money either ways if you're a trader anyways like i think you're pretty much clear with the levels on okb as well you can start managing risks if you're long on okb um, around these price points right here somewhere around this one um, it's going to be aligning with the 11 um, the 12 dollar support if you lose out on 12 dollars which it would certainly mean that you're coming back again at the 10 dollar levels and i do expect this one to get picked up from the 10 dollar levels as this is a qu this is quite a even looking number 10 like everybody loves 10 right you gotta pick some 10 right here <laughs> Pick 10 OKB at $10 price points for $100, you're gonna make a million dollars. <laughs> all right, let's jump on to the most bullish looking asset of all of these exchange tokens, guys. Look at this beautiful price action right here. This is madness. This is, guys, Kosuma. Now, this reminds me of Kosuma. Um, KSM. Now, KSM is somewhere here. KSM is somewhere here guys look the expansion has not happened on KSM this is this is quite expanded to be honest with you now this could be topping out anytime in the future but this looks to me like this is anyway grinding like this and formulating yet another broadening wedge like you could do something like that guys these piece of price action came in at Bitcoin as well guys uh, just just play with the history you'll see what I'm talking about you could grind like this and you can have your ultimate target toward 100 150 200 dollar levels per FTT as well as far as the moving averages are sloped towards the upside this aggressively as far as the 21 simple is being held and the 55 is here back again to support your price action which is kind of oh, all, right, all right let's be honest let's be honest you do not want to be leveraged long on this one you can take some spot exposure on ftd guys this is not a financial advice anyways but you can take some spot exposure on this one why do i say you should not take any leverage exposure is because you are quite significantly deviated from this moving average right here guys the more the deviation from any moving average the more your risk it's as simple as that guys there are thousand ways to define your risk management but this is one of the most effective methods that i've seen and it's going to help you out in the long run as well if you're deviated for about 150 percent from the mean moving average the 3 to 55 simple moving average then it's a pretty risky trade to be honest with you. it's going to be a pretty risky trade right 
so wait for the price action to consolidate but i think if it gets consolidated with the 21 simple on three day time frame it will get another expansion phase towards the upside let's check out the rsi the momentum oscillator as well guys look 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 let me just wait let me just talk about the price action history as well um, the covid dump was right here look this are you fucking kidding me this this was the covid dump for ftt guys look this one was a retest of the 55 simple this one had to react this bullishly <laughs> i mean most of the market capitulated and ftt just came and retested the mean price points crazy bonkers like absolutely madness this was a clear indication that ftx is going to do good after the covid era and look what it's done guys ever since the covid dump right here you're up 1800% against the usd pair and ever since the inception of this token right at $1 guys you are up 3500% crazy piece of price action right here now any asset which is going up is likely to go up higher and further any asset which is going down is likely to go down right this is this is as simple as it can get anyways the 3 day time frame you can manage a risk with the 21 simple moving average and it's currently trending in motion guys you could be expanding again now i was about to talk about these momentum oscillators right here watch for the rsi to actually hold above the 60 price point guys if you get below the 60 on rsi most likely you will be grinding a lot against the 21 simple ultimately breaking towards the 55 simple by the time it catches on to the 20 dollar levels guys it's going to be a crazy chop and you will be range bound between 45 to 20 dollar levels and that would be immensely sideways if you lose hold on the 60 levels on rsi as simple as that guys what happened right here you left the rsi you retested the fibonacci simple moving average what happened right here you left the rsi you retested you retested, you retested the simple moving average the 55 simple moving average i am losing my words guys this video is turning out to be pretty long but i hope this comprehensive technical analysis is helping you out and giving you a clearer picture as to how to be a good trader in the markets right <laughs> if you do feel like that hit that like and guys most of you are new people in this channel guys go for that subscribe i don't know why you're not hitting that subscribe button guys you want to be looking at good news every single day you're something is wrong with you look something is completely wrong with you if you are in markets if you are involved in markets guys you have to have a mindset of having a 50 50 probabilistic behavior in the markets as well right because the markets have a fucking 50 50 percent probabilistic behavior how can you be completely exuberantly bullish or completely exuberantly bearish if the market is anywhere bifurcated into two different biases guys that is why you need to be extremely level headed most of these bullish uh, looking cryptocurrency channels are going to be having a lot of subscribers and most of the most of the interest and most of the herd is going to go towards their channel but guys if you are subscribed to this channel if you are looking at this content every single day and listening to my ramble guys most likely you are gaining some long term education you are gaining some long term knowledge for this market you want to be surviving you want to be thriving in this market if you are in here for the long run this is the place to be at this is the shit that you want to be listening to every single day right look is it self appraisal i guess you can call that but i am here sharing my experience with a very very neutral bias right here look i'm not here to appreciate myself i'm just sharing my entire 5 year long experience with you guys look have some respect <laughs> share share this video go for that subscribe as well right all right so ftt as far as you're trending on the 12 hour time frame of the 50 simple moving average you can go ahead and test this trend line right here at 50 dollar guys 50 dollar ftt not not a problem not a problem um and looks to me like you are breaking above this grind right here right If you stay above this price point and these both of these moving averages right here, RSI is looking good. RSI is quite poised for a retest of the 60 marker right here. The retest of the 60 marker could align with this or this level right here, right? If you do take this one out, there's not much stopping you from all the way towards $50 levels at FTT, right? In the long haul, this is certainly looking nice. You know the bias, guys. You know the drill. Um, these are your clearest management areas, right? You lose out on 21, you come for the 55 with. the lo- with losing the 60 on the rsi as well right all right guys i guess this is it i hope you had fun watching this video and i'm going to catch you guys in the next video pretty soon right bye for now